Hello, that is Dango1867. Hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tiki D Boo. We've got the Manolo Gabbiadini team of the season card, the Napoli striker, the young up and coming Italian superstar. He has got some amazing stats. He's really, really good at anywhere between cam and striker. He's, I played him up front just so I could get him a few more goals and see how he was in front of goal. And we'll get right on to the pros and cons. He is spectacularly quick. He is really, really good on the ball. And when he cuts in, he finishes with everything. He smashes those shots home. He's got really good passing, really good vision. Like I say, anywhere between sort of cam and striker, he can play in those positions. He'd be good playing off someone. He'd be good playing out on his own. He can run a line. He's not the smallest. He's about 5'11", so can win headers as well. And he's got good positional plays, as you can see here. Getting on the end of this, where some normal cams who can't play that striker position wouldn't be able to do it. Obviously, the cons of him, uh, he's not the strongest. He is 5'11", but he doesn't seem that strong. But what he can do is, obviously, he uses that pace to hold people off quite well. Like I say, the best thing about him is his dribbling. All day long, he can just run and run and run. Seems to have stamina for days and can cut in on his left or right foot and finish with ease. Like I say, he's not going to win headers against 6'4 defenders. This might be in 5'11", but... If you get the ball in at his feet, let him turn, let it lay it off. Look at that there. It's a lovely pass through as well. He can, he can lay up as much as he can finish. Like I say, if you can get him in an Italian side, also sort of hybrid, he will do work all day long. The Napoli squad this year is amazing. You could make it a really good Napoli full side with him as part of it. Have him running the line or playing big and he can, And he'll do damage all day long. He's such a good player to use. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and enjoyed the actual Team of the Season content so far. More Team of the Season content to come. Catch you all later, guys.